Well guys, we have just arrived at Dauphin Island, Alabama, and this place is absolutely beautiful. This is going to be the first of many trips that we're gonna be doing this year. We just came down here, we got out of Western New York, away from the cold, wintry, miserable weather that's up there right now. I think it's about 12 degrees up there. But we came down here, and I think right now it's about 50, 54, 55 degrees. Not much better, but it is gonna warm up this week. We're down here for a whole week. It's gonna be about 60s. So we're looking forward to fishing down here and seeing what we can catch. So the family's unpacking. I'm gonna go help them, but yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Guys, we know that there's a lot of whiting down here and they're biting really good right now. Uh, other than that, we're not really sure. We're gonna try. So this video is gonna be kind of a test to see what people from New York can come all the way down here to Alabama, throw some lines in the water and catch just from shore. So we got a couple people fishing down here. Yeah, we're gonna get some lines rigged up. Probably some bottom rigs. The Pompano rig is probably what we're gonna try first and we'll go from there, but let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, we're finally out on the beach. We've been here for over a day and we're setting up some bottom rigs. We got some Pompano rigs. And what we're doing is we're putting some live shrimp on and then we're actually putting a piece of fish bites on after that, just to hold the piece of shrimp on. So two ounce weights, we're gonna try the two ounce and if this doesn't work, we'll go up to three or even higher. We got three rods on the beach and we got a few more we're gonna set up over there and have like five out. So we'll see if we can catch something. Okay, rod three, same thing. Piece of fish bites. This is the shrimp flavor. See if I can get the hook to even go through it. That's how strong these fish bites are. It's getting warmer. Yeah, definitely warming up a little bit. It's supposed to warm up this week. So that's what the basic rig looks like. You can't get much simpler than this. A couple bottom rigs with a little float, the bead, and a circle hook. And again, I got a three ouncer on this one. So I'm gonna go towards this rock over here. Going to go towards the structure, so he's going to cast over there. Beautiful cast. Now that one's over that way because we got kind of the pier that sticks out there, and hoping something's hanging out over by that. Okay, that's it. Now we sit and wait. Yeah. Oh, you got a nice big one, buddy. Get it over. <laughs> nice big whiting. <laughs> Colton, look at that. You caught a nice big one. That's a good eater. Yeah, bud. That's a nice whiting. So we got it on that bottom rig, the same uh, Papano bottom rig with the two hooks, the upper and the lower one. That's a nice one. These are cool fish. They got a cool fin on them. Good eater fish. So we'll put it down here. There's Emma's down there. All right, guys. So Colton just caught that whiting and we got them down here we're bleeding them out i uh i'm not going to show too much as far as bleeding them out but we got a couple real nice decent sized ones and we got a couple smaller ones here that we've been catching we're just going to keep these for cut bait uh we'll throw them out later on some real big circle hooks and just see what we can catch coming through so a couple decent sized ones though just like that it's a nice eater size right there that's a beautiful whiting so the reason we bleed them out is just to make them taste a little better uh the meat can kind of have a uh, off taste to it if you don't bleed them out so just like a lot of other fish we try to bleed them real quick and uh makes the flays real nice and white colton's got another good one down here go easy play him play him easy buddy play him easy oh it's a nice one Go easy, go easy. Nice big one. Nice. <laughs> Another good one. They're fun, aren't they? Yeah, my arm hurts a lot, but yeah. <laughs> These are hard fighting fish. Yeah, nice. That's a good one. That's about the good eating size right there. You can definitely catch them a lot bigger, but we'll get some like that size right there and we'll uh, make some like good fish tacos with those. It feels like it's a shark. It yeah. really does. They fight hard, don't they? Yeah. Nice, buddy. That's another nice one right there, guys. Not bad at all. Not a bad little fish. We'll put them back down in here with our little, 
little pool of fish here and I'm gonna get him bled out too. Okay. Biggest one yet, I think. Nice. Woo. There's a nice one, guys. That's the biggest one yet. My arm That's hurts an awesome every fish time. right there. Colton's having a great My time. My arm hurts every time. Oh. That one. Got one. Get him, buddy. He's huge. Woo! <laughs> Uh, we might put that one back. Yeah, what do you think? All right. Hey, it was fun catching them, right? Yeah. Good job. All right, guys. Beautiful sunset we're about to have here on Dauphin Island. We are done fishing for this evening. Maybe later we'll get back out and see if we can catch something. But this is what we're ending with this evening. We got this nice big one here. This whiting is probably 13 to 14. Then we got a few that are 11 to 12 here. Three more. So some real nice keepers. I'm going to clean those up real quick. We also got a small one over here in the pool i got for cut bait we're gonna get that one cut up just to have some cut bait and we're gonna throw it out with some circle hooks later on tonight and we'll see if we can get something bigger so hopefully we'll catch something so stay tuned all right i got my new mustad knife just for this trip here uh i think this is like the nine and a half inch blade but these things are awesome this is actually the knife i was gilling these with before super nice nice blade on this thing super sharp awesome so i'm gonna get these fish cut up i'm gonna get that one down there that little one chopped up for some cut bait and uh yeah we'll see what we can do but let's fully these up got a little cutting board over here i found i'm gonna use and this will have to do all right real similar to other fish just cut down Just like any other white meat fish here. Look at that. Nice fillets. And they're definitely a lot whiter because the blood is gone from them. Pretty good thick ones here. Mustad knife is Playing these up great. This knife is awesome. Real nice foy. I mean, look at this. Super white. There's no blood in that foy right there. Hopefully, they'll taste wonderful. Beautiful fillets on those fish, guys. Look at these huge white fillets gonna be awesome for the tacos we're gonna make <laughs> we got we got birds going nuts over here I threw the scraps over this ledge and they're cleaning up quick all right we got a nice pile of fillets here guys couldn't be a nicer pile for the evening some real nice whiting we're gonna take these inside get them cleaned up put them in the fridge and uh, maybe tomorrow we'll cook them up all right guys just finished up cleaning the fish i didn't realize till the end we actually had a real nice fish cleaning table with a hose which would have been awesome to know but i didn't see it so the mustad knife worked awesome i got a nice bag of kingfish waiting fillets and then i have a nice bag of cut bait here we're gonna try maybe later tonight or tomorrow but yeah beautiful day on the beach here well guys it is the next day it is time to cook up some whiting and we're gonna get it out of the fridge and we're gonna fry it up on the grill outside and we're gonna do some blackened whiting all right we're in the rental house here we need a pan that'll do i don't think they have cast iron in here nope no cast iron so 
this will be as close as we can come to cast iron. Some aluminum foil. We're gonna go with some blackened seasoning. We got some Kinders here, and this is our favorite, the Chef Paul's Magic Blackened, the Blackened Redfish Magic. That one right there is a good one. What? All right, we got some foil here. We're gonna have to cover the bottom of the pan. We have to use a propane grill. So, we do not want to damage the pan that we have. A couple sheets of aluminum foil. And I think this is going to be good. We've done this before. If you don't have some good cast iron, you can use a pan. If you're going to cook on the grill, you definitely got to coat the bottom. And just be careful because the handle will get hot. So, I think we can make this work. This is some good stuff. We used this down in Florida a few years ago. We compared it to some other ones, and this was definitely the best one. So get yourself some of that. Get a little bit of olive oil. And let's get our waiting fillets out of the fridge here. We got a couple nice bags from the last few days. We'll probably save one bag for tomorrow, and we'll just do one bag for now and see how they turn out. It might be all we need, guys. We got salt, pepper, some oil, some butter. We'll do a little mixture with that. And the two different kinds, like I said, I got the Chef Paul's and I have the Kinder's. The Kinder's works good too. We've used this before. And of course, you can make your own black and seasoning. You can mix all the ingredients or you can just go out and buy one like this. All right, we're going to give our fillets one quick rinse again just to clean them off here. Just to make sure they're nice and clean before we cook them up. Perfect. Did you give a fish to the neighbor? Good boy. Go get him another one now. <laughs> Golden, you just caught a big one? Nice. We're giving the fish away to the neighbors, guys, since we have so many already here. We're giving them to these guys if they want them. You can only eat so many while you're down here. It'd be different if we were you know, near home because I would certainly put some in the freezer, but you can't fly with them, so it is what it is. All right, let's get this grill warmed up. Beautiful view right here, guys. Can't get any nicer than this right here on the shores of Alabama. Absolutely beautiful. I am super excited for this, guys. This is gonna be fun. I'm thinking whiting tacos. That seems to be a thing that uh, I hear other people do a lot with these. It'll be the first time for us, but we're going to try it. So we got some tortillas up in the house and a bunch of fixings for tacos. So fish tacos it is. Let's set our ingredients over here and hope the wind doesn't blow them off. In our fillets. Let's start with a little bit of butter in the pan. A couple drops of olive oil. And get this pan heated up here. Do it right on the edge here so I can shut it like that. We got the wind blowing right through here and it's taking a lot of heat out of the grill, so I'm being careful on how I do this, but there's the pan coated in foil. These fillets are so nice. I'm excited to try these. I just love fish and these are some real nice white meat fillets. I mean, look at that one, guys. That's a nice whiting fillet right there. Beautiful, reminds me almost of perch fillets, the way they look. We want her to get up to, you know, a good temperature. We want it nice and hot. So I'm gonna make sure I crank this up. We got Colton just over here. He's down over here and they're catching him right now. So we got all these poles out with some pompano rigs and they've been giving them to these guys over here. They're having a great time. Oh, he's got one right now. Get him, buddy. Get these guys another fish. Cold's got another nice whiting. Oh, that's a good one, too. All right, I got to go see his fish real quick. Another nice whiting Colton has. Let me see him. Nice. Very nice one, buddy. He's probably 10, 11 inch here. Cool. You going to run him over to that guy? Yeah. All right, you cool. <laughs> nice. Okay, back to cooking. The key to blacken is you really want the pan nice and hot. And it's not as hot as I 
was hoping it would be, but it's getting there. So we're gonna go with it. There we go, nice. Nice white meat, look at that buddy. I'm gonna eat that up. Are you? Good. Oh, they're catching them one after another, guys. This late evening time is just the perfect time to catch these whiting. We tried in the morning, we just didn't catch nearly as many. This evening, late afternoon time was just the perfect time. It seemed like they were really biting. They are looking good, guys. Not too bad at all. All right, I'm gonna try a piece. The redfish magic definitely covers a lot of the, the fishy taste. All right, we are gonna take this fish off here. Well, the wind is taking a lot of the heat out of this. It's not as blackened as I would like it, but the seasoning is on point. Really, really good. So the blackened didn't make the, the coating on blackened fish that you wanted to. The seasoning is there, but it's still really good, but you kind of want that blackened kind of hard, you know, shell a little bit on the fish. So we're going to try again with the next batch. It's very good though, very good. All right, we are on to the second batch, guys. I'll give these a flip. It's such a soft, soft meat. It's already falling apart in the pan, but I got the pan dried out a little more and I got the heat cranked as much as I can and I'm trying to work with the wind here, but the wind is really, really fighting me. Let that heat up again and uh, that batch, is going in some tortillas we're gonna do fish tacos so that's looking better already you can see there's almost a uh like a harder crust on the fish and that's what you want when you're blackening it so turned out a little bit better again the wind is just coming through it's just taking so much heat out of this but yeah it's looking a lot a lot better let's put this in some tortillas and uh add some toppings and see how it tastes Okay guys, we got the whiting here, and I got some tortillas. I am going to warm up my tortilla real quick in the microwave. Give that a few seconds just to warm up. All right. Let's put this together here. Not as blackened as I would like, it's still a fish taco. Either way, blackened slightly, still looks and smells delicious. There's the meat on the tortilla, looks pretty good to me. Let's add some toppings. Some salsa, some sharp cheddar cheese, some romaine lettuce. Some sharp cheddar cheese. One big piece of lettuce in there. And some salsa. Just a little bit. I don't want too much salsa, but I do want that little bit of tomato taste to it. That's enough right there. And there's our fish taco, guys. Okay, let's enjoy the outdoors out here, overlooking the beach, eating our whiting taco as we watch these guys catching more whiting. We got Colton down here, he's got another one. Let me see that whiting. Colton's got another one down there. Good job, buddy. There is the taco, guys. You can see the whiting in there. I'm gonna call Colton up, he's gonna try this also. Very good, very good. These whiting definitely have a fish taste. It's a little, slightly fishier than other fish that we've caught in the ocean, but absolutely delicious. The wind is blowing, but I'm underneath the house. I got the taco. Colton's gonna try some of the fish that he caught himself. Whiting taco. Oh, you want me to pick it up for you? Yeah. <laughs>
What do you think? I love it. It's good. Really good? All right. Cool. I'm eating the rest of it. <laughs> Cut some more, buddy. Good job. All right, guys. This is going to do it for this little catch and cook portion of our trip. Thank you for watching. I'm going to finish this taco, and then I'm going to get to fishing myself. Catch you in the next one, guys.